Well, we came here to Athens as uh, the, the final stop on a statewide tour that's taken us from Youngstown to Cleveland to uh, uh, Toledo, Cincinnati, Columbus, and now we're here in Athens. Uh, and I'm here to talk about the, the differences between uh, the agenda and the visions of President Barack Obama and those of Mitt Romney. And I think the differences are very stark. Uh, I believe um, the president is on the side of the working middle class, and I believe that um, M Mr. Romney is basically concerned about protecting the interests, the special interests of the wealthiest among us. And we see that in the proposal uh, that was put forth by Mr. Romney's running mate, uh, Paul Ryan, uh, the Ryan budget that Mr. Romney has called marvelous would do some things that I think are very destructive to the middle class and very harmful to the people of our state and our country. For example, uh, the Ryan budget would give even uh, more tax cuts to really wealthy people. Millionaires and billionaires would get a tax cut uh, of about $250,000. Um, the working middle class would likely see a tax increase of about $2,000. Uh, in terms of Medicare, the Ryan budget would um, uh, voucherize Medicare, really destroy Medicare as we know it, make much of it a voucher program where seniors would be given a voucher and then they'd have to go out and negotiate health care for themselves. And we think that could cost the average senior up to $6,000 a year. In terms of Social Security, Mr. Ryan and Mr. Uh, Romney would lot of, like to uh, privatize uh, Social Security, at least partially privatize it. I think that would be detrimental. We're here in Athens talking specifically about student aid uh, because across Ohio and across the country, the cost of a college education is increasing dramatically. Students are finding it increasingly difficult, especially uh, young people from working class families uh, being able to afford a college education. The Ryan Romney budget would, uh, would slash Pell Grants. Would, would deprive uh, thousands and thousands of Ohioans of those Pell Grant resources as well as work study monies and so on. And that would be bad for, for our people and for our middle class. And so we're here to talk about those things because they are so important for people to think about these vital issues as we approach the November election. And um, so I'm strongly supportive of the President and of uh, Vice President Biden. I am very hopeful that that uh, Ohio will once again support the re-election uh, of, of the president and the vice president and that he can continue, the president can continue the path we're on. We're coming out of this recession. Um, uh, things are better than they were four years ago. Uh, the president entered office uh, during a month when this country had lost over 750,000 jobs in that one month. We're not losing jobs now, we're adding jobs. Um, we, we want to add jobs more quickly, but we are headed in the right direction, and we cannot go back to the same failed policies that led to the recession in the first place.